Okay, so now we are at the entrance of Mount Moon. Well, we're not quite there, but we're getting pretty close. Anyway, we're going over here. I'm pretty sure that this is like Route 4 or 5 in the game. I'm not quite sure. But we're just kind of standing around right now, and I'm going to fight a couple of these trainers. So let's go up here. Uh-oh. What's this guy want? You in the evergreen woods. Also meet it, don't you? Oh, this must have been a guy that I fought before as a bug catcher. Great, just what I need. Juvenile has made a challenge. Juvenile delegated catap. Oh good, a caterpie. Something easy. Alright, Akira. Show him what you're made of. Yeah. He's at level 15 now. Way over leveled, but it's awesome. And he's gonna use Vine Whip, because it just completely owns anybody he uses it on. Even though he's a grass type, I mean, it's not doing that much damage, but there's a five level difference, so I can probably still kill it. However, it would probably be more effective if I use Tackle instead. Enemy's Catap falls down. Akira has got 112 experience value. Juvenile seems to like delegating Beetle. Is Scott wanting to change? Um, sure. You know what? I'm gonna show off my Pidgey that I just caught. Juvenile delegated Beetle. Akira can come back. Go! Huck! Yeah, I'm getting some major lag on my end. This won't be shown when the actual video is put up, but that's why there's a lot of space in between my voice fluctuations. Yeah, I always kind of was trying to figure out why Gust is called Blow in this game that really doesn't help at all, going back to how horrible these translations are. Anyway, I wonder what sharpness is. Oh, I guess that must be quick attack. Sweet. The enemy's beetle falls down. Hawk has got 111 experience value. Juvenile seems to like delegating catap. Yeah, I'll change. Let's see, who else could I use? Um, how about my Bulbasaur again? Because I kind of want him to evolve into an Ivysaur. Akira's go all out! In other words, tackle! Cadaps go all out! Also, in other words, tackle! Yay! Oh, I hate it when your attack miss. That's so annoying. Okay, let's try Vine Whip, see if that makes a difference. Here is Rattan Whip! Does it hit him? Sort of. The effect looks not so good. Ah, uh, we'll do another tackle. Maybe that'll kill him. Akira's go all out! Ah, yes! Dead. The enemy's cat app falls down. Akira has got 112 experience value. I've won the contest with Juvenile! Eh, no feeling wronged. You still lost. Heh, <laughs> what a way, Mo. Lame-o. So I get $100 as a prize, and that's it. Now, showing you every single one of these fights would take a really long time to do, so I'm gonna skip through the next and use it as a way to level up my Pokemon, and then I'll come back once I'm at the entrance to Mount Moon, alright? Okay, I'm back really quick. I just wanted you guys to see something kinda cool. My Akira has just reached level 16, so he's gonna evolve pretty soon, so I kinda wanted you guys to see that. And if nothing else, you'll get to see me beat up a youngster because youngsters are awful. And in this game, it's simply called Child. Yeah, let's see what the child says. I'll also believe that is R, but I don't expect it. Well, that makes no sense, but that's partially because I kind of skipped over what he said before. Anyway, but that's not the important part. Ah, the state of Akira. What's it doing, kids? It's changing. What's it changing into? What is that? Who's that Pokemon? It's Ivysaur! Hooray! Having ev- Wow. Having evoluted into Fushi. Yeah. Once again, subtitles are awful. Anyway, I just kinda wanted you to see that, so I'm gonna leave again. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. Yeah. And I went through all those trainers, and I grinded my Pokemon. And if we'll go under Pet here, you can see that they've all leveled up a little bit, other than Pikachu. Sorry, Pikachu. Kinda lucked out there. Anyway. 
And as you noticed before, my Bulbasaur finally evolved into an Ivysaur, so I'm kind of excited about that. Anyway, we're gonna walk up here and we're gonna go into the Pokemon Center and we're gonna heal them, see what the Poke Nurse says. Welcome to our pet entree! Here pets recover their strength! Then let me deposit here! Yay, my voice wasn't as bizarre as the last time I narrated for her. Okay, so she's just healed my Pokemon. And she's talking about how strong and powerful they are, because I keep owning everybody, because they're way over-leveled. And, now, most of you probably know about this, but if you go over and talk to this fat guy here, he gives you something kind of special. And, this might seem desperate, but I need a water Pokemon, and this is an easy way to get one. Let's see what he has to say. Little boy! Only tell you, there is a good news. Secret Carp, even only mark $500. How do you think? Buy it? Yes. Scott got carps. In case you haven't figured that out, according to the horrible translation of that section, I just got a free magic carp. Well, not free, but without actually having to catch it, I just got a magic carp. And his name is already Carps. Now let's see here. Now, his future name is going to be Gyarados, because I am going to raise this into a Gyarados and completely own people with it. But it'll take a little bit of training, which I'm probably going to do a lot of off-screen, because that would be easier. Anyway, his name is going to be Gyra, because that's kind of like the first part of Gyarados. So, anyway, there we are. So now we're going to walk out of the Pokemon Center. And eventually we're going to get into Mount Moon. And once we get in there, we'll start battling some people. And I might even catch a couple of Clefairies and or Jigglypuffs maybe. And we'll have our first encounter with Team Rocket. But until then, sayonara my friends.